Monday morning. Actually, it's like almost afternoon. Um, last night, I continued, almost finished the wall. <laughs> it's huge. I didn't realize how big the pictures were gonna be and they're giant, um, but I love it, so. <sighs> anyway, those pictures, I have like three I'm waiting on and they'll be here March 4th. So that's when the wall will finally be finished. And then I have to take them down in uh, <laughs> 10 months <laughs> when we move, so kind of a waste but it's fun. Anyway, today furniture should be coming, so I'm excited. I have an office chair, a bedside table, and finally a dresser. My clothes have just been like in this box under the bed, and more recently not under the bed because I can't fit all my clothes in there. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Anyway, I'm about to go down and check if my furniture is here because it said it was delivered, so it should be. They're here. Um, <laughs> that's tiny. We do have a small closet, but I was hoping it would be a little bigger. <laughs> I think I might still have to store stuff under my bed, but this stuff will eventually be for our guest bedroom in our house, so we don't need tons of storage space for them, but yeah, a little disappointed. Um, I'm hoping it'll match my desk, <laughs> that's what that's called, but we'll see. I probably won't do like a cheesy little time lapse of me building them because I don't think there's much building. I think you just turn the legs in and flip it over. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be back. I'm so nervous it's gonna be um, broke or something. <laughs> Rule of thumb I usually hear is to always take pictures or film opening the package just in case something's wrong because then you have proof and they will either refund or send you a new one. This honestly isn't very heavy, so I'm not counting on quality. It's packaged very nicely though. It's got styrofoam on all the sides and on the top, so. Wow, oh my God, I'm so excited. It is like almost a perfect match to my desk, if not perfect. It's so pretty. Oh, the slide's not doing it justice. It was advertised as like a dresser for clothes, but this looks like a file cabinet. <laughs> this is so small. Um, also, no legs, kind of confused. I'm hoping they're in this box with the nightstand, but I have no clue why they'd be shipped separately. I am so confused. There's no legs with either of them. Like what? Um... So this is me realizing that the legs were actually inside the only drawer I didn't check after spending so much time talking to someone on the Home Depot customer service line and I feel like an idiot. <laughs> this is the dresser. Um, for size comparison, I could um, fit, I don't even think I could fit a small baby in there. Um, I guess this will just be like socks and underwear and bra drawers. My boyfriend might be a little mad, but you know what's interesting? That same thing is on Wayfair for like three or $400. That's insane. It's not worth that much. I'm glad I only paid like 170. Um, the bedside table, however, I am very happy with. I haven't put it together yet, but I will do that now. I'm kind of annoyed. I need to get rid of stuff anyway. It's, uh, my, it's gonna help me be a minimalist. Good morning. An update on the bedside table and dresser. I still don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't know, it's such a joke. Like it would work as a dresser for just for me, but it's supposed to be for both of us. So I'm gonna keep looking online and see if I can find a bigger version or something. <laughs> Cause I want it to match my desk and it matches perfectly color wise. So yeah, my chair is here. <laughs> this is the chair. It doesn't sit right. 
I swear I put it together exactly how the instructions said and it wobbles. So maybe they mislabeled the legs. I actually was right. They sent me the wrong leg, but I talked to customer service and they sent me a new one. So it doesn't wobble anymore. And I actually really like this chair, but I did end up returning the dresser and the bedside table. 